Hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Shapes.io. Uh, today's video will be a little bit different to the rest of the series, because it will either be the last or the second last video. Um, because we're going to just keep leveling up. We've got everything made that we need to get made. It's just a matter of uh, sending it all here. And we're doing that through our uh, machine that can literally make anything. So we stack stuff there. Um, over here. We'll have to manage this once we actually get up to layer 4 stuff. Um, but other than that, uh, there's not much happening. Uh, so in the top left hand corner, you'll see a timer. Uh, I'm going to start that now. And it's just going to keep counting away. Now we are um, basically not really going to do anything. That's not quite true. We are going to put a storage bucket here. Um, with rebalancer on the output. Uh, just in case we need to uh, manage our flow rate here. But other than that, we're just going to sit here and chill. Still level 3. So this is the first time that we've been sitting here um, just waiting for it. And it seems like it takes about a minute after this change uh, for everything to be delivered from our production area over to the hub. That's quite a long time. Which means that our downtime between levels is likely going to be around two minutes. We'll just have to wait and see. Because we're not, um, we're not looking at anything that's happening down there, we're just focusing on the hub itself. I'm quite interested in how long this actually takes to um, go up a level. So here we go, so now we're starting to get some through. After about three minutes uh, between um, like from when we last completed to now. That's much longer than I expected. These are coming in pretty slow. I'm assuming they'll pick up um, as our production elsewhere comes in so we can see eight and a half a second. they don't pick up, then we're in trouble. We're not really. It's just a little bit more annoying than we would otherwise like. 10.5, there we go. It is still taking a reasonable length of time just to get our items in there. So let's... Redirect that. There we go. 75 done. Don't particularly care about these. We just want this space to to do stuff in. We want to add in a couple of these filters. Oops, we need to get a wire in there. So we'll have to shift it back a little bit. Like that. Uh, wire. Uh, you're not a wire. Like so, like so. Got a little button on here. We'll set this to go. So that would just let us get a, a backlog here before we uh, send it in. Uh, 
There's probably a better way of doing it than that, but that's how I'm going to do it for now. Um, and then we've got an upgrade. Um, let's just wait a couple more and get a, a belt speed upgrade. There we go. So all of this is done now. Uh, I don't know why that last one was so slow. 75, still three layer. But 76 is when we get up to the four layer stuff. Um, let's have a look at layer two, because it's going to be using lots of circles. I just want to make sure that it's not locked anywhere. Right, they go the opposite way. I'm confused about which way they're even going. You see, they're coming through fine there. This is fine here. We got a lot of junk still coming out of level one. It's because it's so far away. I wonder. Here we go. Some of these are leaving now. That's nice. I don't think we actually need this anymore. I don't know what it's doing, but I don't want to touch it in case it's important. But yeah, they're still coming in fine. here okay not as fast as we'd necessarily like though like this belt here isn't full you can't see the mouth this one here isn't completely full maybe it is and it's just my eyes maybe it's just because it's being split into two um, Two tracks, you can't tell. You could probably just like do this. Just to make it a little bit visually easier for us to tell. Um like 16.9, 17. Maybe upgrades. Not quite there. Let's go back to the hub. Yeah, just make just to make it a little bit easier for us to tell exactly how fast they're coming in. Wow, this is 16 per second. That's a bit crazy. Here they start to come. Not very fast though. We can stop them for a moment. Maybe if we let this build up to like hundred or something and then we press go again it'll empty super quickly but hopefully uh, well that, that was enough for us to get to all layer items uh, let's upgrade our belt speed and we need to come down to where we stack level layers three and four because now down here yeah these are coming this way now that's still the old style uh, it was this one no, you had to stay like that we had to do that There we go. We're making the bottom two layers. The top two layers are going to be made over the other side. Now that's still old junk. Good, it's going straight into the trash. 
I mean, I'm looking down here. Are these are ready. These are in progress. Some are coming through. We had some other junk stuff, but here we go. Let's come up here. This is going to be monumental. First layer four completed creations. Oh, we went there too fast for them. And we'll look at this and make sure that they actually come out right. They... here we go, we're getting some. Look at him. It's this thing, made automatically. So now we truly can just leave it be. Such a lot of inputs. There has to be a way to condense these. I can't really be bothered working it out though. Those paints are coming in good, it just seems a bit odd here. Whereas this one is backed up. That's definitely going at full speed. Alright, let's go back to the hub. Let's go back to our waiting game. They're coming in pretty strong right from the beginning. Not full belt worthy, but pretty close. Let's just stop that one as well so we can see more clearly without needing to do that addition ourselves. Seventy six done to seventy seven. So we've been waiting a long time for this, but it hasn't arrived yet. Interesting. This color order is different. Whoops. So that actually hooked on the green down here. So if we have no color or we have green. then send out green. Well, that's a little bit annoying. We spent ages waiting for that. Well, because this order down here is slightly different. Oh, well. That's just how it goes. Um, I did want to look as well. We come all the way up here with layer 1 stuff. All this way up here. We do our processing up here. Then we take it all the way back down. And it is so slow and so far. I want to look. See if there's a way that we can just essentially take this and Take that section there that I just selected. I'm trying to unselect it now so the game stops being laggy. Come on, game. Oh, there we go. We just had to select something else and put it like. Let's just say just above this, and we'll leave that as it is so we don't 
mess things up down here. Yeah, like just in here. We can, I know we can. It's just going to be fairly tedious taking all of these down. Not impossible. But I think it's going to be a better option. And just less slow for our completed things to, to be done. So let's come in here. Let's take all of that is now gone. And we're going to take, oops, all of this. We're going to copy 35,000. We have so much that that doesn't even mean anything to us. Let's make sure we're not overlapping up here. Well, we are. We didn't delete enough. Okay. Let's get rid of a bit more of that. Yes. And we'll try pasting again. There we go. Now, nothing is happy. Because up here, we also need all of the wiring. And this is going to be harder to line up. So if we look at maybe this green over here. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. We try and get that onto there, like that. There we go. There's all our wiring for down here. Okay, so we'd sent enough through. Um, so that it stopped complaining at least. Let's keep taking these. At least until we get all of this sorted. Alright, let's get the wiring done first. So they should just be uh, top to bottom, left to right. missed one. That could have been bad. And like so. Okay, and then you have to come down here to there. I'll bring this back up. We zoom out a bit. Maybe we'll just go to there. We'll say copy. And then let's try and line these up. And for this, it's hard. Because you can't quite see, but that'll do the job just fine. We can see in the background that some of our layer one stuff is still going that's just because we had so much uh, color and material stored up here like look at this I mean we're using it fairly quickly but we still had a lot there uh, all of these 
Right, we'll keep the storage. Right, yes, I'm sure. And we need to get these inputs now down to here. I am just going to put a local storage on each of the colors that are coming in. Just to help them out. Okay, the hardest part about this is going to be getting stuff vaguely lined up. Okay, let's go there. There's still a fair way to go, but at least it'll kind of fit on one screen. Okay, let's do that. Let's zoom out and we'll go select copy. We'll see how precisely we can pack these. Five, six. Okay, that should be everything we need for colors. Just the colors. I was about to say, what am I doing? Colors don't come from up there. But no, one of our batches of colors does come from up there. It's more of the other colors that come from down here. Okay, so we've started getting some of these. We need one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, another. Probably all of those are duplicated again. All right, so let's copy. 30,000 in blueprints. We're not too concerned. We've got 2.8 million of things. Okay. So this is a lot of very long tracks now. We could probably just do this rather than drawing them all in. At least get them to all exist on one screen. Another level. Done. And we've got too many of them. Those four we need to delete. Yes. Now these don't have any like backlog of stuff, so once it's done, like once we cut these here, it's done. So maybe down here we'll put this joiner in when this side starts because we're basically there we've basically now just got to turn all of these instead of going across to the right all of those and all of these might turn them to be coming down uh, yes I'm sure The last one. One, two, three, and four. Now, here, colors. Let's take out that in there. Is it there? Let's line up. Okay, right. Let's copy this across a bit so I don't need to scroll quite so much. Let's do the other one first. This one's actually in use. Okay, get all your rounds on. I mean, you're gone. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is the line we missed. 
that's not so great. At all. I mean, we'll fit another two colors down this side. It's just going to be really annoying now. have to go like this. Why are you not going the right way? Okay, so this is just going to be messed up for a little bit. Especially because we tried to send painting things through a different channel. Yeah, no, no magenta here. don't think we have any other option except to trash those until um, we've got all this cleared out. Man, that's frustrating. And possibly here as well. We've just been things for a while. Okay, so that's fixed now. So once these are clear, we can get rid of our magenta bins. So we're looking for blue now. We need to get this green down here. Okay, that'll get the green moving. That's quite frustrating that we made that little mistake. Um, these green paths. We can get rid of now. Okay, so all of these look clear. Surprised I don't have filters on these to um, like get rid of some of this paint sooner. Okay, why are you not going then? Oh, there's probably stuff stuck in the tunnel.
Okay, we can get rid of these trash bins now. And we need to... Oops. I think it's just two deletions because of... Like there's one tile underneath. Okay, and then this one... There we go, that should have fixed everything. It's producing stuff now, and painting stuff, which is a good start. And it's taken far longer than we expected. So, let's get rid of that. But, like, it's still a fair way away. Um, but it's much closer than all the way up here. And everything up here... Let's select all of this. Delete. 3,000 buildings. Yes, please. And all of this. Let's select all of this. Another 1,400 wiring buildings. Yes, please. Wow, some of these colors can, can go a long way. Oh, this is our, sh our pieces themselves. Yeah, they definitely go a long way. Wow. Yeah, we're still waiting on these because we're still waiting on layer two. Is missing a corner. That's fine. Oh, it doesn't know how to deal with nothing. Seriously? So we're out here. We need an if nothing, we can put yeah something small we can fit in here. Um, um, okay, what do we get? So that's just saying do send everything. But that corner shouldn't be being painted at all. Maybe it's just other shapes that were stuck in there that hadn't been able to clear through yet. But we definitely don't want this to be anything. We need a branch off of here. We go there. We say the 
not that. So that will give us a one. And then... Let's put our ore combiner there. So if there's nothing, or the rest of the thing that we had, then send out red. And all of these can be nothing, that's fine. Okay, so let's copy all of that. Paste it there. of those ores. We need both of the ores. Copy that in again. Put you there. But now I think we're okay. Next, and this has to be green. We really need this top bit, don't we? Nothing. Okay, I think that'll help that. Now we've just got to go and do that on all the other corners. For when they don't have a color like a corner piece. This one should be fine. Where are we up to? So that was just completing level 81. I missed a few in there, but 17 a second is the rate we have to be delivering at now. And that's kind of as fast as we can. So we're going to need to start using our barrier here. Um, let's go back to layer 2. Um, and we want to copy this little bit of a mechanism. Come up to our layer 1 and put it in here. So that it also properly handles Um, the situation when we have no, no color. I guess out here, but there's no way to combine, I don't know, that works. Um, let's come to our layer 3 logic. Where do we pick color over here? There's no space in there. No space at all. How are we going to do this? We could just assign a color to it. We're just like, yes. We split out the color up here. I 
Maybe we'll just do a little test in here. Um, we want a constant output. Um, let's see. Gray will do. Oops. Gray will do. And then let's have a um, transistor forwards the bottom input if the side input is truthy. A shape L or one. Okay, so we can do that. And then let's simultaneously um, have another transistor. Oh, we can do that to get a nothing. So this is a nothing, and that's a something. Now, if we just put them together, we get a something. Okay, so we don't actually need any of this. We can just say... Um, here's some colors here. Um, now let's say we've actually got... A yeah, see that won't work because we're actually going to have two inputs. Let's spin that around. I'm putting a button on there just to help us control whether we've actually got something or not. We'll make this a color. So our next one also has no missing corners, so we'll be fine. And now in here, yes, yeah, so this is saying we've got a color or we've got nothing. I think we actually want this pointing the same direction, but inverted. Uh, logic. Um, that way. Uh, you go like that, and then here. We have our default color. Let's make it gray. Oops. The color. We'll just put a little bit more gap in there. I'm going to display here. Maybe we need that to be not blue. So if this is off, okay, so that definitely works to always pick one of the colors. Either blue, if it's something, or our default color, if it's nothing. Now, how can we fit all of that logic into here? Try it out. We've got our four input lines. 
We should actually put them on the opposite side so they're going in the right direction, shouldn't we? Uh, red, constant, green, constant, blue, constant, yellow. And our default, let's just leave it for the moment. Now all of these are coming in like this as green. We need to do that. So that will give us, if this has got something, then we can invert that line. And... Let's just have our constant gray here out of the way for now. And bring it in as green as well. Okay, so transistor the opposite direction. Like so. Um, but that's going to be using above. We can't use above. Because of the space we have here. What have we got another level up? Or just this. We'll just wait until we can get some of these other ones. Uh, again, nothing with a corner missing. So we won't need to deal with this again yet. Um, okay, you're still going through there. Let's bring this out and around like this. Whoops, that's completely the wrong. Uh, positions, they have to go there. And we're going to need this wire to be blue. Otherwise, we can't branch out in here. And that one doesn't need anything. But we do need that there. We do need that there. So we've got our nothing signal here. And this is okay. Okay, do we need that transistor? What's it doing? It's not actually doing anything. So, if we just go up. Well, we won't be able to go up either without going through something. Hmm, this is... What does this do if we put it here? Gives us two lots of nothing. Well, so we can compare these. Maybe that's the plan. So we have a compare. Let's 
get rid of this stuff here and these here with nothing coming in the other side. Or maybe we just send in a constant um, zero. But we want it to be nothing. So we can't compare with nothing. Okay. But what if instead of doing this on the colors, we do it on the shape? We've got a little bit more space here. Like we can split them and do it in here. I'm going to assume they go the same way. shape goes to the top color. Well that's not confusing at all. Alright, let's split you. Let's feed you into there. Wait, we actually want... Yeah, that's right. We want to feed you into there. And otherwise... Give us a constant... Grey. Uh, blue, please. So if that thing is set, okay, we need a little gap there. I said cut, not copy, cut, paste, because we want if not that thing. Then do that. This, copy, paste, 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 and then we need some of these bad boys, and then the same thing down here. Oops. They're not set, set a grey colour. If they are set, don't do anything. Okay, so we've got another one. Let us do mixing and painting, sure. Well, we were waiting. Nothing's actually being delivered. And we're not going to be able to deliver it 18 a second anyway. Okay, let's look at where we're stacking. So it's a layer 1 and 2 issue again. A layer one issue. Oops, we better move that. Uh, delete. So layer one is now down here. Layer one. Okay, we've got colors, we've got nothing being sent here. So your cyan it's 
It's this thing again. Super frustrating. Uh, all of these are probably going to be like that, aren't they? So let's just do this. Delete. Yes. You can repopulate everything that's in there. Not just your colors. Now we're going. Okay. Well, we're going to leave this here. Um once we get um 81 finished. Because um, I can't keep playing at the moment. I have some things I need to go and do. And I expected to get a lot further than we did. But we had a couple more issues that were not expected. So, producing junk. There we go. Now we're getting some things out. Not quickly, but some is better than none. Here they come. Just took a while. How's our cyan going? We should have plenty of backlog of it. Oh, this is coming from down here. Yeah, there'll be loads down there. And up here. There is also loads. Let us make sure we never run out. We'll put one of these on the end just in case. Alright, where's layer one? Where are we stacking three and four? Let's go back to the hub. Yep, still haven't got any here. Oh, but we will need both sides now to get to 18, when our belts can only go 17.19. So let's just wait a moment until we uh, get some of these stacked up here. So because we need to get this to 18 a second, we'll probably wait until we've got maybe 500 here. Oh, that's not so great. We don't want those interfering with each other. This button we bring out like this, we bring you like this. Oh. If this ever fills up, I don't want to um, like not be like be waiting for it unnecessarily. So, if for some reason, this gets to 5,000, then just start sending stuff. And then we want to keep sending stuff. Whilst it's going. We need a blue one for there. So that will tell us if that's moving. So we'll just wait for our logic here. So if this is full, or that is moving, or the button is pressed, then these should be working. So we need another OR gate in there with 
you or you. So if I push the button now, this will start going, which will turn this on, which will turn this on, which will mean that even if I turn the button off, they will keep going. Okay, let's test it. Okay, button on, button off. So because this is on, this stays on. And then that will be the same if this was to turn it on. Look at that, one level complete, two completely grey. Wow. Okay, so that'll keep sending for a while. Oh, we are going to finish the episode here. I thank you everyone for stopping by today. I do appreciate it. I thank you for your patience as we uh, work through some of the teething issues um, that came with the level 4 stuff. Oh wait, no. We didn't quite get there. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, we need to... Uh, this logic that we added in, in our layer 3 stuff, we also need to add into our layer 4 stuff. But I don't... Okay, so you come from the first one. So the inside goes to the inside again. Well, that's good. Outside. Okay, so I think we probably can just copy that, rotate, paste, get rid of you, um, oops, we actually did want that, uh, cut, line this up, paste, Draw these lines in to send out a color if there's no corresponding shape. Okay, now we're done. Okay, goodbye take two. Thanks everyone, I do appreciate you stopping by. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, do consider leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, it does help out a lot. Otherwise I'll catch you all next time. Thanks everyone, bye for now.